everyone. I hope you can hear me here. We're having technical difficulties of, on all levels. Uh, earlier tonight, it's just now 7.36 p.m. here on uh, Tuesday night here in Taborg, New York. Uh, the sun set at 7.43. Around 7... Uh, 46 or so when it was already dark it appeared like somebody had pulled up out there on the road with their headlights shining in my windows and I'm like well I wonder who's here so I got up and my internet was messing up uh, it was running real slow all kinds of things I mean it barely ran at all a couple of the pages kept crashing and I'm like what in the world and then I saw the light out the window and I'm like well, I wonder who's here, and I went out on the porch, and of course there was nobody there. It was, the sky went from black to where it was illuminated with this orangish, bright orange glow, and I made like a 12-minute uh, video, and all that came out actually was three still shots, and the still shots didn't work too well, but like I say, there was a lot of uh, activity going on. Uh, it was just a suppression from above coming down and the lights stayed on until at least seven o'clock okay I mean it was bright 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 uh, it was after seven actually when I had uh, came in and discovered that the pictures uh, ended up not as a video but and I explained a lot on there about what's coming up you know they're talking about October 3rd here which is tomorrow where they're supposed to invoke uh, martial law or things of this sort to do a lot of arrests uh, that's what this fella here is speaking about on the site down here it's a uh, uh, national emergency act of war he's got uh, and I don't think it's him this is an Annette uh, Cividans that has posted this now down here I posted two days ago and I just want everyone to notice and what I wrote, and I haven't received a comment on here. Uh, this is how it's been going ever since they came, and they uh, they falsely arrested me. They used your tax dollars to put me in jail, where they uh, murdered me in their hearts. They thought I was going to die. How often do you hear of somebody being put into solitary confinement for 44 days at the tax dollar, dollar expense, and they won't feed you any food? Okay, I was starved for 44 days. Now, what this fellow is talking about, and there's some other links, too, that I'd like you to look at as well. I'll, I'll show you where you can find them here in this video, I hope. But uh, this fellow speaks a lot about what's going to take place, or should, or could take place. So a lot of it, they say, has to do with Judge Kavanaugh, whether he's put in or not, whether it's delayed, or if it comes down to uh, martial law being invoked here tomorrow. Uh, which may be a day that you come and try to kill me. But I, I don't think that'll take place because the Book of Enoch, as I spoke of in the 144,000 uh, series uh, a couple months ago, where the Book of Enoch was first opened up to me on May 18th, okay? Uh, and it showed me, you know, that Enoch, and I read the book, I heard it on audio and everything, but I never heard what Enoch actually had to say concerning the 144,000 and that it depicted my life in detail as well as I'm sure it has others or all of the other 144,000 and maybe this is the judgment that Enoch told us we were to cry out for and I do cry out and I ask you all cry out for judgment but my comment as it shows here is the book Enoch speaks of these things and I have to add to the list of arrests against those who refuse to respond or even acknowledge known and proven frauds, felonies, and or etc. This was the third notice and I've got an email that I had sent out that's got three notices that made a big list. I mean it's a really long email but in there are so many conspiracies, so many frauds so many corruptions by known state officials, county officials, city officials, to the point where they ended up trying to murder me. And they did. They actually did in their hearts. But on the 44th day, I was uh, rescued by a bondsman out of Colorado who had to come to Texas to get me out because they wouldn't allow, you know, the Texas bondsmen to bond me out 
and I was put into jail, solitary confinement, with no indictment, without any paperwork. I never signed a thing. I refused to sign anything. They took me from uh, Callahan County to Shackleford County in my underwear, my, my boxer shorts, and my socks. They transported me, and that's the way I was transported back. Uh, the sheriffs ended up stealing uh, around $500 cash out of my wallet, but they thought I was going to be dead, you know, so they didn't figure they was doing any crimes. But I've listed all the way up to top officials uh, in detail, and it's uh, shown in the court records, you know. They're verified. They're, it's called prima facie evidence. It can't be refuted. And I've got court records that are stock full of these things to the point where they tried to murder me. They burned my church down here on, on or about September 7th of uh, 2016. They never made the papers. They know who burned me out. They refused to investigate. They burned my vehicle too. I ended up having to flee Texas after I got rescued, but I hid for over a year. And I had to pay on this bond of $30,000 to get me out where this man acting as a justice of the peace who had me arrested on a felony and he's only got authority up to a Class C misdemeanor of a driving violation that's non-jailable. But uh, with the corruption of the judges, they got together with the... Uh, the district attorney and the county attorney and some other guy uh, uh, don't like me too well because I would tell them how to do their job and what their job was and I, I didn't take none of their crap, okay? And I told them how the cow chewed the cud, so they tried to murder me. Uh, this is all taking place right now. They're going to be opening an investigation. When they get into the records, they're going to see that what Enoch wrote about me, he also said that there's going to be an investigation and that all the authorities and all those who did these things to me, they bulldozed me, they burnt me, they trojaned me, they, you know, they've done everything you can imagine, stealing everything I put my hands to do. This is supposed to be America, you know, a nation of laws, but none of the laws have applied to me. You know, I mean, I can show them it, it's in the court records. There were 10 city officials that used your tax dollars misappropriated your tax money, okay? And that's both public, you know, the uh, city and federal funds, state, federal, you know, city funds, county funds. It's all these funds together. And I wrote all these agencies that I, I want you to see. This is a letter that I sent out three notices in. Let me move this over to the side. Maybe it'll work like that. And this is just a list of those that I wrote and they never ever responded or wrote me back. I mean, I know it's hard to believe. Take a look at all these guys. You got Secretary of, you know, uh, Texas. You got the governor. You got uh, all these different ones. C I uh, C J I D. all these. We've got uh, the Texas Rangers right here, Texas Rangers. They never responded. And, you know, you see all these movies about how, oh, you have these, you know, laws broke by the Texas Rangers. Boy, they'll come riding in there. Boy, they'll take them down. I mean, look at all these individuals. Your CBS News, okay, uh, the evening and scams and weekend and, uh, the ABC News, I, I notified Fox News, MSNB, all these different agencies, governmental agencies and such, they are all guilty of federal crimes. If you know of a commission felony and you have said nothing about it, well, guess what? <laughs> You're guilty of it, okay, and you're supposed to go to prison for years. And, of course, you know, you can go to this site and, and read my response that I had, I'd sent in to them, you know, which is all this right here, and that's it. But uh, you can see all the people that's supposed to be in jail and in prison because they refused to act when there were known felonies, proved known felonies against we the people. And they've been covering this up for so long. Uh, Enoch says that it's going to have this investigation being taken place. It's coming about, people, okay? That's, it's been promised. 
Our king even said that the things they stole from me are going to be returned, ten or a hundredfold. Okay, and you can see there's others that are talking about uh, the same episode that's supposed to take place here on the third. But like I say, there's factors from what they say is going to come into effect, but it's still going to be an investigation, whether it's tomorrow, you know, on the third or not. I can't really tell you, but even here, FEMA's October 3rd, 2018 event, Obama's wedding anniversary, okay, his wedding anniversary to Michael, our first homosexual president, uh, and it may be a wedding event, you know. I'm kind of hopeful that these arrests, uh, the 50,000 sealed indictments will have him and Michael listed in there so they could spend their wedding anniversary in prison awaiting their execution, which should actually be coming. The things that they wanted upon us should come upon themselves. Okay, that's what the law says, you know, and, and when you have two or more witnesses gathered against you and their false witnesses, whatever they wanted to come upon you, should come upon their own heads as well when they're found out they're false witnesses. And I've got records of courts completely filled with these things. I've got known affidavits, okay, filed by city employees all the way up to the financial officers in the cities and such. You know, known frauds. They wrote in affidavits. They knew they was lying. All ten of them. The judge, he allowed it. Okay? It's not a law, you know. It's not a nation of laws. It's in what's going on in Texas right now. And I hope there's going to be some indictments for some of those individuals. I mean, I forgive them for their sins. I forgive them totally for what they've done to me. You know, burn me out, church hate crimes and everything. Sanctioned, allowed. You know, they talk about these sanctioned cities. But I sent, you know, word up to even Ted Cruz, okay, senator of Texas. I showed him okay files of corruption he never even answered me okay i've gone to all these uh, loretta lynch okay i wrote her office after they'd done this she never responded and some of these people i actually sent out uh, registered mail it wasn't certified it was registered like one that i sent i believe uh to obama who was still in office at the time, and I explained all of the crimes that were taking place against me just in that one instance. We're not talking a, a lifetime of this hell that they've been putting me through that Enoch spoke about. He said they, the authorities, were going to do these things to me, and they did. And I've got the record of it, but nobody can hear me. Like I say, even on the last video there I wrote, and I showed all those emails and everything. I've been doing this across the internet and all kinds of people's sites that, you know, they say they're out there for justice. So I write them and say, if you're for justice, well, look at this. I put up a video for a $100,000 reward for anyone to get me justice. Enoch says to cry out for judgment, my friends. I say we do this. And what, of course, you know, uh, YouTube did was they took down my $100,000 reward video uh, they took it down, and then I also had a, it was like a minute long from where they had burned me out when they tried, when they was murdering me, okay? And I come home to a trailer that was completely burned out. They know who did it, uh, no investigation, but I did a minute video, and I explained, you know, that I just hope that y'all having a better day than I have, you know, <laughs> And mine wasn't all that bad either because our king, he gives and he takes away. And I know what the plan is, and I believe the plan is about ready to start. So uh, with that, I do ask you all, do some praying. Uh, don't get excited. Don't get violent here tomorrow. You know, if they do decide to uh, take away use of the phone or Internet or television, these sorts of things, don't get freaked out. Don't panic. If you can, get to the store early before they do these things. Get you some extra rice and some beans or whatever you might need because we don't know exactly what's going to take place. There's going to be a lot of idiots. You know, the nation's divided. And what's it say about a house that's divided? Well, it cannot stand. And prophecy shows that, you know, there's no place going to be standing left when our king returns except for some areas where there will be those who are protected. And if I get Abilene, Texas, the way that I already own it in the court record, 
I think it's under 23075B of the 104th District Court in Abilene, Texas, Taylor County. I think it's 23075B, but in there is a, uh, you know, and who knows, maybe they'll try to burn it up now like they burned all the other stuff up. Uh, but in there is a copy of a valid bill that I gave to the city, and I own it. I mean, they're right now paying millions of dollars every day for the infractions that they tried to put me in jail over. Ten city employees or ten plaintiffs uh, used your misappropriated funds to file a fraud to get me into jail. For ten years they wanted me in prison, and each of them using your tax dollars to file a known fraud they each wanted in excess of $10,000 each from me and exemplary damages and me to be put in prison for 10 years because I filed a valid and had it done by notary protest, okay, which is higher than any court in America. If you do a notary protest, it's uncontestable in a court. And when they brought me in, they had full uh, determination to do away with that bill, but they couldn't do it but it's still in the court record where the plaintiffs themselves filed it. It shows I own Abilene, Texas, and it'll be a, refu you know, a city of refuge. It's what it's going to be. It's a sanctuary city. It's going to be once it's handed to me. So I just hope that you all take this in consideration. Pray that judgment comes. There is going to be some hope. Very little, you know, but let's get our minds back on the truth. Uh, let's do the things that we should and learn to forgive, you know, but though I forgave them all for the sins they've done, and it's been years ago, they still owe me for the damages. I'm still living in this poverty. They never should have done what they did, and hopefully when they're in prison and find they have no hope at all except in our king, hopefully they'll turn and repent, and then it'll make everything worthwhile. It really will, you know, not only for them, but for me and for our king as well. Our king's going to win in everything. Uh, let's just get on his side, shall we? I love you all. Shalom.